Come on in. Here's some more paperwork. Come on. 99 Haas. Does anybody have a way I can get my hands dirty? XO? Where is it? Fire it up. Team Nimitz, Commander Kurtz here with you again. Today, I'm gonna to learn about what it takes to get a loft in the top of the mast of the ship. We wanna go up there and see what they do to maintain the radars and help keep us safe, help to direct airplanes, uh, and help to navigate this ship as we make our way around the world. Go ahead and tell us who you are and where you're from. Hi, Team Nimitz, I'm ET-1 Hall, Combat System, CS-6 Division. I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, I have the opportunity, I'd like to give a quick shout out to mom and dad. Uh, hopefully you guys get a chance to see this. Hi, Mom and my dad. All right, outstanding. Now, you said your dad was in the Navy as well? Yes, sir. How many generations going back? Four generations, sir. You're the fourth. Yes, sir. Fourth generation Navy, uh, so continuing on the family tradition of serving in the Navy. Outstanding. Tell me what we're going to be doing today with you here in the classroom. Hi, sir. So today we're going to go over the basic procedures for working a lock. First, I'm going to cover the PPE that's required. So we have our harness and our Dynabrake and we'll actually get a chance to put on the equipment, go up in the anger bay, do a practice climb, which is a requirement for the loft qualification. So overall, we're gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get fit out in this harness, learn all the safety procedures, learn the climbing procedures, so that tomorrow, when we do a replenishment alongside and we're getting supplies, we can go up into the mast, the highest part of the ship, and what are we gonna do when we get up there? As soon as we get up there, we're gonna wipe down all of our uh, radar antennas, the goal in that is we're actually going to try and improve our received signal out here. So in the Arabian Gulf, we have a lot of dust and dirt in the air. Uh, so as the radar signal goes out, hits a target, it's coming back. Normally, without that layer of dust and dirt, the receiver picks it up. We see the target illuminated on the scope. But with that layer of film there, what's happening is we're getting the received signal back. It's being absorbed or being reflected by that film on the uh, radar receiver and we're not getting as good of a picture as we would otherwise. So you get an unclear picture, it makes it difficult to find targets, makes it hard to work through all the noise that that dust is putting out there. And if you haven't seen the dust here, uh, but if you're on board the ship watching this, you've seen the dust here. It's a pretty fine dust, which means it can get everywhere. How are we going to clean it up? Are you going to use a vacuum? Do I need to lug uh, 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 one of those Dysons up there? No, sir. None okay. of the, the vacuums, not even the uh, Ghostbuster packs. We're just plain old uh, buckets and sponges. Just Tending water uh, bucket brigade up to the mast. Uh, so we're going to use a, a line to haul that up there? Yes, sir. I've never heard the term Ghostbuster Pack, but I like that one. We'll start using it. Ghostbuster Pack and Cadillac. All right, so we're going to go through the PPE, the personal protective equipment that it takes to climb up and safely uh, execute this. Uh, and how tall is the ladder inside of the mast? How far up are we going? Uh, I actually can't get that figure off the top of my head, sir. I think it's about... It's classified. No, I no, know. not classified. I just don't know. I, I try not to think about the height, sir. <laughs> All right, we're going to start at the 011 level. Yes, sir. Or the, yeah, and then we're going to go up from there. Um, all right, so we'll uh, we'll count the steps as we go up there. All right, sir. Uh, and uh, and then we'll know exactly how high we are from there, and uh, we can start taking a look at all the radars. So he's going to step us through a process. We've got a 30-minute PowerPoint presentation. We're going to learn the fine points of the PPE and then put it on and get measured, make sure everything fits correctly. You're going to show me how to fit it, how to make sure it's snug, and then how to use all the other uh, uh, equipment associated with it. Yes, sir. All right, well, let's get started with it. I'm excited to, uh, to, to climb. Absolutely, sir. I'm right, excited thanks. as well. Appreciate it. All right, we've made our way down to Hangar Bay 3. We're all outfitted. We've got our safety harnesses on. Petty Officer Hall, talk us through what we're going to do next. Hi, sir. So now we're going to do the practical part of the aloft qualification. First, I'm going to actually attach the climber safety sleeve. I'll go up about the three rungs and go completely hands-free. This gives a, uh, a confidence test on the PPE and its ability to hold me on the ladder if I do lose my grip. After that, I'll come back down. Uh, we'll proceed up the ladder. And 
knock out the practical portion of the qualification. Okay, excellent. Why don't you go ahead and show us how that part's done. All right. place without falling down. Yesterday I went through the whole process of learning how to go aloft, going through the procedures, making sure that we're safe, and of course getting fit out in the gear. Now that we're actually going to go aloft this morning, I have to go through the process of defodding myself. I don't want to drop anything on anybody, and of course FOD is always a potential danger on the flight deck. We want to make sure that we keep all the airplanes and all the people safe. So I'll go through the process of defodding myself. anything that we do on this ship we have the planning and briefing part of it so we're going to plan out and brief what we're going to do right here in the combat systems maintenance center go ahead tell us who you are where you're from say hi to somebody back home sir uh, my name is fc one pettit from uh, combat system cs7 fox division fire control i'm um, from oklahoma originally but uh, i'm married and my wife and family all live in uh, tacoma washington just quick shout out to my uh, wife and kids real quick uh, so the brief real quick, what we're doing today is we're going to be, you guys are going to be going aloft up to uh, zone 3, which is just below the uh, uppermost platform. Uh, you, as you can see, you've got the safety harness on and everything. You've got the GoPro attached to get some good footage while you're up there. Uh, so as you're going up, sir, you got the uh, primer safety sleeve. This is, you're going to attach that to the metal rail that r- runs up the middle of the uh, ladder as you're climbing up. That prevents you to where if you were going to slip or something, it catches, will not allow you to go down without releasing the safety mechanism on it. Right. So as you're climbing up, that's going to be attached. You maintain three points of contact at all times as you're going up. Make sure that's good. Once you get up to the top and you're out on the actual platform, take one of these uh, lanyards right here and you'll tie it off to one of the safety hooks that are up on the platform okay. just to make sure that you're safe and you're con- contact- connected to the ships at all times. So that if you were to slip or anything, you're not going to fall into the fall. What are the things we're going to cover in the brief? Uh, the safety brief, mainly what we're covering is uh, for safety of uh, climbing up, safety awareness, making sure that you're not, uh, in, nothing's going to be rotating or rating or anything like that, so we are going to be uh, covering all those safety for, uh, variables and everything like that. So you're not going to be in any danger, like I said, everything is turned off, you're not going to be hurting anything, you guys are going to be going up, doing some clean and inspect maintenance on the uh, radars that are up in that area, wiping them down, getting a lot of the sand and everything off like that. Uh, the main part about being safe, like I said, is making sure that you do have all the proper uh, PPE on, okay. safety gear. It is bright out this morning, so I see you got your got sunglasses. sunglasses. That's good to go. Um, so once you get up there, like I said, as you're climbing, if for some of our other individuals are gonna, that are going to be going up, we're going to have tools and materials and stuff with them. Yeah. They're going to have lanyards, just like this right. bag right here. This bucket. Correct. One of the lanyards will be attached to the rope, to the uh, bucket as you're climbing up, so that your hands are free to climb up, and you'll okay. be pulling that up behind you on one of these safety lanyards, so that your hands are on the uh, ladder well making full contact with the ship at all times. Uh, there's going to be another individual on the O11 that's the uh, safety observer. He's down there just to make sure that everybody up top is good to go. Okay. We'll report in on a regular basis making sure that we're fully aware in here of what you guys are doing up on the mast at all times. And if there is any reason we had to have you guys come down immediately for any emergent situations, we would reach out through him and he would notify all of you that we need to come back down. 
um, so that we can stay safe and defend the ship in any kind of emergency. All right, that was a pretty thorough. That was a pretty thorough explanation. Mm -hmm. Right, we still have to brief this. Yeah, so a, as thorough as that was, we're still going to cover some uh, some more details as we go through the aloft brief. Absolutely. Ready to go airport. Absolutely. Okay, excellent. Thanks very much. Yes, good hand, good hand holds at all time. Make sure you have a harness. Make sure you're hydrating. If you're starting to get too hot, make sure you're coming down from the loft. Make sure you have somebody to escort you down from the loft. All road, all okay, road. we're on the O10 level now. We're right outside of Pride Fly, so right outside of the tower where the boss, main boss control, air operations. We're going to step out on the Vultures Road. We're going to go up at the O11 level. So we'll be 11 decks above the hangar bay, uh, getting ready to go aloft. What we're going to do today is we're going to clean these radars. We're going to make sure that uh, they're, they're dust free and we can get the uh, signals back, uh, make sure that they're in optimal condition. We're a half hour alongside, a half hour into the RAS this morning, so before we get into that sort of position, uh, next to the replenishment ship, we do a good clean sweep of the area using the radars, make sure there are no obstructions out there, make sure there's no traffic to be, be concerned about. We get ourselves into position alongside, we now shut those radars down so that we can climb up there and clean them off without worrying about electromagnetic interference, without worrying about them radiating and causing any physical damage to the folks that are up there as well. So we got our safety gear together, we've conducted our brief, we're about to step outside and go clean these radars. Hooking into the ladder in the mast now, the only light is from the hatch on the side of the mast. So now that I'm hooked into the mast, collecting my safety lines, headed up the ladder. And again, the only light is coming from the hatch down below, and the hatch has been opened above by Petty Officer Hall ahead of me. Looking down to take a look at how far up I've gone, and then looking up to see how much farther I have to go. And now that I've made it to the top, I can unhook and go out onto the yard arm and take a look at the aircraft carrier from above. Sunrise over the Arabian Gulf. And you can see how much dust has built up on the railings just in the course of a week since the last RAS. Pity Officer Hall and I are cleaning the GPS antenna. The signal GPS coming from space is a pretty quiet signal and you can see here that I've actually made a safety mistake that I haven't clipped in to the railing so the railing up there has convinced me that I'm safe but in fact I should be clipped to one of the vertical posts as you can see Chief is next to me the view from up here is pretty incredible you can see the all the aircraft lined up for the RAS you can see USNS Yukon to the starboard side of the ship as they pass us stores and ammunition as well as fuel. For each one of the radars up in the mast, the dust can wreak havoc. Here we're cleaning off the front of one of our surface search radars so we maintain the ability to navigate and to safely see what's operating out in front of us so that we can operate in the Gulf without coming into contact with other ships. There's a good view of the USNS Yukon. All right, you can see the parabolic part of the antenna collects the signals and it focuses them all on the receiver that we're currently cleaning. So by removing the Arabian Gulf dust from that receiver, we can get cleaner signals into the processors, which can then turn those into targets that make it easier to follow for our navigation and for our ship's systems. This is probably the scariest one of the day in that there's no railing around this antenna. So you have to constantly check to make sure you're clipped in correctly. And the railing that goes around this has bars that support it. So you have to make sure that you're constantly clipping in first, then unclipping from the last one, so that you can make your way fully around the entire arc of the antenna. But the view is pretty intense from up here. Sometimes it feels like clipping into the ladder is the hardest part. So I'm clipped into the side, now I can clip the D-ring on my chest into my ladder attachment. I'll unclip from the side of the ladder, and now I'm ready to go down. Going down is the hardest part, as we saw earlier in the hangar bay, because you constantly have to adjust the attachment on your chest to get over the clips as you make your way down that center-guided rod. Now stepping back on to the O11 level, so if you remember that the uh, hangar is the first deck, so I'm a good 11 floors up above the hangar and 8 floors above the flight deck. 
This is a much easier way to get equipment up and down in the mast rather than carrying it up the ladder and having to worry about having a hand focused on carrying your bucket of tools. Taking it all in from the O11 level, it's a way different point of view. from the mast, back down inside. We had a great time up there, got to clean off all the radars. If you have any doubt how destructive that dust here from the Arabian Gulf can be, you can see on the hands that it cakes on everything. This is just from some pretty quick cleaning that we did up there, and that's why we have to be up there every single week. So I want to thank Petty Officer Hall, Combat Systems Department, who are doing this all the time. All right, so we talked about the plan, we talked about the brief, you saw us uh, executing up top, up top there. So did you have anything for me from a debrief perspective? From a debrief perspective, I think that we went up there, we got everything that we needed to. I didn't observe any unsafe conditions while we were up, which is great. Um, you actually handled the aloft like an old crow, sir. So oh, that excellent. Was, that was great. Uh, we did get all of the, the dust off of our, our radar antennas, comp suite, so okay. should be good to go for about another week if we're lucky. Sometimes the dust starts caking up a little bit before that, and we start getting some uh, fuzzy radar picture before the the next RAS comes around. Okay, well I have one debrief thing. So it's always good for, uh, for people to debrief themselves on what they did wrong. I was a little slow to strap in on one of the verticals when we first got up there. So I was just taking in the view. I was a little blown away by that. But then I recognized that I was not strapped in, strapped into one of the verticals and then got to cleaning up there. But you can see just even that the fine dust that we have out here in the Arabian Gulf, that little bit of interference can wreak havoc on the signals that we're getting on these radars and make it very difficult for all of the systems that we're using up here to keep us safe and to navigate. They make them a little bit difficult to operate. So it's a good thing that we're up here every week making sure these things stay clean, making sure that we're in optimal condition for both combat readiness and for safe navigation of this ship. Thanks everybody out there. Thanks Combat Systems. Thanks media. Take care.